Hello, this is a different kind of video I'm making on the YTCJ Gaming 1 channel. I don't know how to do an intro because every time I do an intro, it's cringy. So I'm just going to get started into this. So today I have some custom action figures that I have made or while well, starting to make. First off, let me start with this guy. He is going to be an Electro. Now, the reason why I chose this for uh an electro is uh no re for no reason in particular besides that uh i'm not using this uh white vision action figure and he has open hands fisted hands and you know i think he's uh really well articulated so he'd make a uh for a great electro and so for the head i use the black knight head from I think the Cold City and build a figure way from 2018 and so I just popped it on here it fits perfectly I actually sand it off the top but I'm gonna paint uh, this part uh, yellow and then I'm gonna paint everything green and then paint uh, I might do yellow underwear or I might just do a yellow belt which might look better but yeah, I think uh, this one is uh, really good. Yeah. Next up on this list, I have Venom or Black Suit Spider-Man. Um, for I'm making a Chris, a uh, very Spider-Man Christmas Part Three, and I really wanted to use the Black Suit Spider-Man, but every single Black Suit Spider-Man Marvel Legend, super expensive and I really don't wanna pay like $100 for this. So I decided I'd make my own Marvel Legends Spider-Man since I had the body laying around, I'm never gonna use it. Same with this guy. And so I use the Rock Python body from, I don't know which build a figure. And then I grabbed a head from like a connect and connect, uh, some sort of like Black Panther. I'll put that up on the screen right now. But um, yeah, and then I put some white stuff for the eyes, which I think doesn't look too bad. I mean, this doesn't look that great right now, but when it's done, I think it'll look pretty decent because uh, the paint glossy here and the matte right here. I'm not sure which style I prefer, but I, yeah, I think it might actually turn out pretty well. And finally, we have here my customized Green Goblin. Now, this is my first custom Marvel Legend, and I think it came out really good. I honestly really like this. I wanted to use a green, I wanted to have a Green Goblin in my latest Spider-Man stop motion. And on eBay and Amazon, they're just so expensive, which is the point with all of these. Black Suit Spider-Man's expensive, Electro, is way too overpriced and green goblin is just way too overpriced and i mean i had this uh this black knight the uh, body laying around and i used one of the heads there's like three heads with that figure but i used one of the heads uh for this and then i decided i'd use the body since it's literally just a reused body for the green goblin i decided i'd just paint it and you know it doesn't look the best but i think it turned out really well and I use actual string for the bag. And I use one of those Lego bags that just drop a little hole. And I think, I think, yeah, I think with a little more customization, it might look better. But um, yeah, I also use some bendy material in here and with some purple cloth uh, to make the hood. And then, oh, and this head I used from the uh, Dark Elf. From one of the build a figure waves and i just took off the hair heated it up with a dryer took it off and then painted it green popped it on here and yeah i think it looks really good so now i brought in spider-man which isn't a figure i customize at all but it is still one of the best marvel legends action figures they have ever made i mean just so good the body mold the articulation it's it's just absolutely amazing the perfect spider-man action figure and so i just had to make a stop motion series with this guy because it's just like it's amazing 
So here he is next to the Green Goblin. And yeah, I think honestly this is pretty perfect. Because I mean, look at that. That's all I want in a Green Goblin Spider-Man. Green Goblin a little taller because he's older than Peter Parker. Spider-Man a little shorter. And it's just absolutely perfect. And so here he is next to the uh, soon-to-be Electro. And I think, honestly, that looks really good. And so then this black suit. Uh, this is not the black suit for this Spider-Man. It's for the knockoff Mafex one I have. And so, yeah, I'll compare him in a second here. And so here he is right now with the black suit and yeah i know this black suit is way bigger than building this but i mean the black suit is supposed to be the symbiote and so i mean i can just excuse it off and whatever i think it looks fine but yeah and also one other thing i did want to bring up is the accessories i have made for the green goblin which includes the glider, which is featured in the new stop motion I'm making. As I paint the bottom purple, it looks kind of like this. And put sticky tag on the bottom. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's just a start. Um, obviously, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to make a better one because it's pretty crappy. And then for the, also for the Green Goblin, I made some pumpkin bombs with some uh, literal like beads. I just painted orange, like one of those cheap necklace things, which yeah, I have right here. Like I literally just pulled off one of these and made pumpkin bomb, it's that simple. So yeah, I think most of these turned out actually pretty well. So yeah, that's about it. See you later.